If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I got a beat on him. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now it's to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou, get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacob is going to do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the river... Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't... I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. Just gonna take a squirt and I'll get her idea. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it. What was I talking about? Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> Gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Yeah, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Uh, 40, 60, but... 30, 70 at the worst.
Upstairs. You're fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident. this tub before she blows.
of the goddamn year. Shit, get over there. See if you can see what's wrong. Please remain calm and gather. What? Hey, gather in the great room. We'll make an announcement when it's safe to evacuate the ship. It's only a matter of time. Fuck 
two shits about it. I ain't giving up that easy. Fuck it, 
it a shot. Think I give a shit about some politicians? Please, please, I, I don't even know what's going on. his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. Si. Certo. Never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. Brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No, I do not drink. Judge, he tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger killed your brother. That you wish to disguise a deal between the two of us. They found Lou tied to a statue over in the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. I apologize for your loss. Lou fucked up. It's his own damn fault. Look here. I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all set up to get gambling legalized. Now it's all a goddamn mess. You want my money. 
We need to get to the governor, and it ain't gonna be cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words, please. I want your money. Ah, this is good. <laughs> I will bring you the money, and in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. That's not the only... You also wish me to kill the nigger. Hmm? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, Things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy way. about Burke. Your history had to make that even harder. Have a seat. I took care of our Irish problem. Now let's get down to business. Come morning, this city's gonna learn that their dear old Uncle Lou didn't die out there in the swamps when his riverboat sank. And when Lou dead, Sal's gonna be scrambling to figure out his next move. Meanwhile, we're gonna take control of the plow house, the cistern, and all the drinking and fucking in the French ward. I get it, brother. You came to me last time, but you still carry some doubts. Wondering how exactly a woman keeps up with a man in this world. Well, I'll tell you, with a lot of fucking bullets. Asking my guys to lock down half this turf makes them anxious. Like, they don't know which side they're supposed to be cheering for. But giving us the entire turf sends a clear message. It tells them you're gonna take care of them. The two of us, we're not escaping each other. Might as well embrace it. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. We know the struggle in ways others don't understand. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. Handing me nearly half this city means the world to me. Ain't about to let you down. Suppose I'll swallow this pill right along with my pride. But if shit don't start swaying my way, you and me are gonna have words, pal. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. <laughs> 